Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I figured we should probably have a look at some of the more interesting, more exciting, more looked forward to cards that are coming around in Vivid Voltage and started having a look at what they might cost when they come out over here. Now, the usual rules apply for these kind of videos. These are buy prices from Japanese shops. And there's two important points here. Important point number one, Japanese cards tend to be a little bit cheaper. And important point number two, these are buy prices. The shop is going to add on a little bit of a margin before they go ahead and sell it. So we're going to be giving nice equivalent numbers here, but do remember that these will end up being more expensive over in the US, Europe, etc. Because they just are going to be, and these are buy prices. So in terms of the most sought after card, the most expensive card, weirdly, it's actually Rainbow Rare Leon. Now, Rainbow Rare Leon comes in at the really rather expensive price of 3,500 yen, which comes in at about £33.26. That is a very expensive card. Now, Leon itself is that supporter card that does an extra 30 damage for the rest of the turn. You've got your Pokemon to do an extra 30 damage. And it seems like a good card, and I do think it's a playable card, and I did put it on my top 10 of the set. But there is always a chance with things like this that actually this is going to end up being because of the popularity of the character. Having said that, I honestly don't think that's the case here. I think people are kind of hyped about Leon. I mean, one of my most common phrases that I use on this channel when talking about Pokemon cards is doing extra damage is always good. Maybe Leon's just taking that and running with it. Because if we look at the other Rainbow Rare supporters, it's not that close. Rainbow Rare B comes in at 2,000 yen, which is a little over half the price. You're talking about $19 or £15. And, I mean, I love B as a card, incidentally. I think B as a card is absolutely awesome. You discard the top five cards of your deck, and any of those cards that are energy, no, they do not have to be basic, they can be special, you attach to your bench fighting Pokemon however you like. So I do think there is absolutely a chance here that B is just a really good card that people are absolutely hyped over. I mean, the other Rainbow Rare supporter card we see here is Nessa. And Nessa's coming in at a much more modest 1,800 yen. We've dropped again. So you're talking about $17 and about £13. Now, Nessa's the one that lets you grab four water Pokemon and four water energy, or up to four in combination of, I should say, and then put them into your hand rather than shuffling them into your deck. So, okay... It's kind of a cool card, and it's certainly going to see play in water decks, and the lists I'm seeing, it is seeing play in water decks. And Nessa is a very popular character. I mean, you look over Twitter, etc. People generally tend to be Nessa fans, but the fact that this is coming in so low as a buy price compared to the others, I really do think means we're looking at playability here. And playability-wise, clearly it's Leon, then B, then Nessa. Having said that, with Leon being any deck, B being fighting decks, which are looking pretty nice at the moment, and Nessa being water decks, which are quite few and far between, maybe that explains it quite nicely. And honestly, if we have a look at the full art versions, weird things are happening. Because generally speaking, we would expect the Rainbow Rares to be the most fancy, expensive versions of them. But no, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to these supporters, apparently the buy prices for Full Arts are higher. Leon comes in at 3,600 yen here, which is a tiny little increase. You're up to $34 and about £27. We are rounding for a bit of ease here. So that's 100 yen more, which admittedly isn't much, but it's still more. B comes in at 2,200 yen. So you're talking about $21 or £16, which, again, this is more. Again, you're only talking 200 yen, but it's still more. And then, well, weirdly enough, Full Art Nessa actually comes in at 1,800 yen. So it's exactly the same, quite frankly. But still, 
That is weird that the full art's a bit more expensive. Honestly, my take on it is that the rainbow rares, although shiny, just do not show off the art of the characters as well as the full arts. I prefer the full arts. Maybe things are starting to turn in my favour and I'm going to be right. That would be lovely. So actually, as much as I told you about the rainbow rares, I was slow rolling you a little bit, leading you into this weird discussion of why are the full arts more expensive? Now, there is one other card which really is asking quite a high price at the moment. And that is, it's Pikachu VMAX. And Pikachu VMAX is a rainbow rare version. Now, that's coming in at 3,200 yen at the moment, which means you're talking about $31 or £24. It is an expensive card. And I like Pikachu VMAX. It's got the one attack. It basically just lets you do 270 damage if you're willing to discard all the energy from it. Which, I mean, put it this way, right? Eternatus V Max is a big old G Max Pokemon, or V Max Pokemon, that does 270 damage turn by turn. So this does not look a million miles away. Although, as I've explained in previous videos, the extra bent space and the weird Devolution Spray Z combo, etc., do mean that Eternatus, as far as I'm concerned, is a stronger card overall. But it ain't Pikachu. And that's the thing you need to remember with stuff like this. Pikachu is a very, very, very popular Pokemon. Second really only to Charizard. I mean, as a Pokemon, he's more popular. Or she. But in terms of trading cards, Charizard is just going to command a higher price. So it's kind of cool that we're getting this Pikachu. And it is quite expensive. But it is very understandable why that is. Honestly, the regular VMAX... You're coming in at 400 yen, which is not much at all. 400 yen, we're rocking like $3.80 or £3. That is not an expensive card. But then again, it's just the VMAX. Apparently, people are loving the Rainbow Rare. The regular VMAX, we're pulling enough of them that we really don't care very much and that does incidentally hold over to the full art pikachu v full art is coming in at 1500 yen so you're talking somewhere in the region of 14 dollars or 11 pounds so not a phenomenally expensive car but a decent amount of value coming in here Whereas the regular art version, the non-full art version, comes in at a paltry 250 yen. So you're talking about $2.40 or £1.90. So again, it's a card with almost no value really whatsoever here. People love the Pikachu, but they only love the fancy versions of it. Speaking of fancy versions, this might be a good time to mention the gold cards. People like the gold cards. Now, the most sought after here is the Obstagoon, which comes in at 1,500 yen. You will notice that is the same price as we just saw on the Pikachu, the full art Pikachu. So again, you're talking about $14 or £11. And the thing is that this is, this is Obstagoon. People like Obstagoon. Obstagoon is a very nice card. It's got that obstruct attack, which just stops basic Pokemon attacking next turn, or it just makes it immune to them. And this is good. And it's a card which is seeing quite a lot of play and success already. People are liking it. It's a playable card. And if you show me a playable card, which is then getting a super fancy gold version, I'm going to show you a card which is destined to go up in price. Now, Longview Scope is coming in at a nice even 1,000 yen. So you're talking about $10 or about £7.50 here. And this is a cool little card. It's a one that means that your attacks do 30 more to your opponent's GX and V Pokemon that are on the bench. So that's very, very cool as a card. And I do think this is going to see a lot of play in a bunch of different decks. So maybe it is fitting that it's costing that. Just a little bit behind that, we've got your memory capsule, 900 yen. So you're talking about $9 or about £7. And this is the one, it's, it's memory energy. Well, it's actually, it's memory berry, right? I was going to say it's memory energy as a tool, which it is. 
But then again, Memory Berry was Memory Energy as a tool, and it was a tool, so maybe that's a better example to use? Either way, it lets you use the attacks of your pre-evolutions. It's an extremely cool card, and this is the gold version of it. Generally speaking, the fact that Longview Scope is more expensive means that people are generally saying this is the better card, which is going to see more play. Outside of those cards I've just mentioned, there really isn't much here that's commanding a huge amount of value at all. There are a couple I do want to point out quickly. I mean, it's worth pointing out that the regular Leon is coming in at 500 yen, which I know 500 yen isn't huge, but for a supporter card is absolutely gigantic. You're talking about $4.80 or £3.70, but again, this is a supporter card, not some kind of fancy Pokemon that's full art or rainbow rare or any of that. So this is, as far as it goes, right, this, this is expensive. This is more than we would usually see for this kind of card. They have mentioned Snorlax, and I love the fact that Snorlax even made the buy list at all. Snorlax has got that awesome ability, which is literally just Tropical Beach. Draw two, you've got seven cards in your hand, your turn ends. And I adore it, and I think it's a really cool card. But the fact that it's coming in at 100 yen, so you're talking about $1 or 75p, it's not a particularly sought-after card. But it is worth bearing in mind that it is at least on the buy list which is more than we probably otherwise would have expected. So yay. And then I do want to mention the full art Talonflame V. Now I love Talonflame V. I think it is a great, great card. Talonflame V has got an attack, which is literally Dedene's ability, but you can use it turn one, discard your hand, draw six cards. And then it's also got an attack that does 160 for free energy, and obviously with Welder, you can use that turn one going second. So turn one going first, you've got that great consistency boost. Turn one going second, you've got 160 damage straight away, which incidentally is enough to KO a Zacian, even if they're mucking about with all of their reducing damage tricks. So this is one to absolutely keep an eye on. But the fact that we're talking 600 yen for the full art version, I mean, $5.70, £4.50, that's not an expensive card, so maybe I'm overrating this a little bit. I mean, the regular version's coming at 150 yen, which, that's, that's not impressive. Like, 150 yen is barely more than Snorlax, so, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I still think Town and Flame V is cool. Either way, that is a pretty good look at a lot of these new cards, what their rough values are, and I know that they are going to be inflated when they come over here because these are buy prices, because these are Japanese prices, but I thought it would be cool just to show you a lovely little example here of exactly the kind of stuff we're talking about, and it at least gives you a nice idea of rough prices moving forward. So we did. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know which of these cards you're excited about and which ones of these you think are going to be jumping up in value. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash BTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio